Hi guys, in today's tutorial you will learn how to blur video background in CapCut. CapCut has made some changes in the app, so I decided to create a new version of this video to provide clear instructions on which tools you should use to blur the background. This video is sponsored by Revoicer. Revoicer is an advanced text-to-speech software featuring realistic AI-generated emotions, enabling you to effortlessly produce natural-sounding voiceovers that will save your time and eliminate robotic tones. Now I will show you a quick Revoicer tutorial. On the left side you can choose one of 40 languages. Below you can choose the voice you like. My name is Kayla. I'm one of the most popular voices from Revoicer. When you choose a voice, you can write your text on the right side. The great thing is that you can select a part of the text and then change its volume or speaking rate. If you want, you can also add pauses to your text. This is my favorite feature. Here you can choose the emotion that the voice you selected will have. Blurred background can add a sense of depth and visual appeal to a video. I chose friendly tone for my voiceover and after that I clicked on generate audio. You can play or download your voiceovers below. This is how the voiceover I created sounds. Blurred background can add a sense of depth and visual appeal to a video. The soft, out-of-focus elements in the background create a pleasing and cinematic look, enhancing the overall production value of the footage. To learn more about Revoicer, visit the link in the video description. In the rest of the video, I will use the voiceover from Revoicer to show you how good it sounds. Open CapCut, tap on New Project, and select the video you want to edit. This is what my video looks like before editing. First, tap on the video and then tap on copy to duplicate your video. After that, select the overlay option to position the copy of the video below the original video. Now tap on Cutout and select the Remove Background option. After that the background on your overlay video will be removed. Now go back and tap on Effects. In the Lens section, select the Blur effect, then match it to your video. Now you can adjust the blur. I suggest that the intensity of the effect should not be too high so that the video looks as natural as possible. If you like, you can zoom in on the video as I did to ensure that the edges are not visible and to enhance its overall appearance. This is what my video looks like after editing. This method is not always perfect, but it can be very useful when you want your video to look cinematic. Now you can export the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.